back to a day in my life 9 to 5 and content creator edition because I have an event to go to after work today super excited to share if you're new here my name is Cass thank you so much for joining me I work at events for an interior design magazine and I'm so excited to bring you guys along today I'm packing for a trip that I'm going on on Thursday it is Tuesday February 27th I believe today's an office day and then I'm going to an event right after work so I'm really excited to bring you guys along and also today is the last and final day of my 30 day hard and it has been a journey so I will share that when I get ready today Alright guys, I have to leave right this second or else I'm going to be late. I worked out this morning. I was really proud of myself. It was a last minute decision. Today is the last day of 30 day hard. So I really wanted to just hold myself accountable, just get it done. So I did that. But now I'm running around like a crazy person trying to get ready. The event I'm going to, I wouldn't say it's an event. It is a collaboration between me and Olfactory. It's a custom scent bar where you can make your own perfume, make your own lotions. I love Olfactory, I've been there twice. I'm just so grateful that they're giving me a free experience. Wearing my little Chanel earrings. I barely ever wear these, but I need to, but I just, I don't know. And I also don't want to be wearing a lot of nice things in New York because it's scary. I got these for my one year, I guess, anniversary of living in New York, just as something sentimental. I'm very sentimental with everything nice that I buy because there's a meaning behind it and there's a reason. So these are my one year in New York <laughs> earrings. That's what I call it. I was going to do a little recap of just the 30 day hard experience and my thoughts, but we got to go. So that will be for when I get home. Outfit of the day, feeling really chic. I have my jacket from Abercrombie. It is a nice tweed, collarless tweed jacket. That's what it says on the website. And then I have my Aritzia effortless pants. Then the top underneath is just a t-shirt because it's pretty warm today. It's nice and sunny, so don't really need it. Okay, well, it's a little cloudy, but it's supposed to be nice and sunny. So it's about 45 degrees right now. So I'm just wearing a jacket and then a white t-shirt from Aritzia. I love their basics. They're pretty pricey, but they're so worth it and the quality is great. I've had this top for about a couple of years and it still looks amazing. At this point, is this a corporate vlog if I'm not telling you about my Calpac bag? So this is the Calpac Laptop Haven Tote. I love this because you can detach this and then there's also all these little compartments on the side. If you want to use this as a carry-all when you are traveling, Zip this up, take this out, and then just use this as a nice open tote with a trolley pass for traveling. And then I love how the strap is very thick. I actually have to sling it like this because if not, I just can't carry it because it's so heavy with my laptop in here. I'll be meeting my friend Tiffany at Old Factory. Super excited, and I will see you guys after work. It's actually so cool. Yeah. What did I try? This Titration filters. What was the last one I tried? Mm -hmm. For perfume, you'll find this in all perfumes. Mm -hmm. Uh, with the diet. Uh, well, the, wait, the, mix, the email of phone number. Tiff and I ended up getting the same exact fragrance. It's the one that I've been getting for the past couple of years. It's Riley, which is vanilla with, I think it's, what was it, whipped cocoa, not whipped cocoa, it's like, uh, like a chocolate date, because my favorite number is two, Cass's favorite number is four, so then 2024, but in Roman numerals to make it more sophisticated. I'm back at home, I ate some ramen, I just made the packaged ones. It was so, so good. But I went to Old Factory Expressol and I got my favorite scent that I always get. I first tried Old Factory. It was around the time of my birthday, so the summer of 2022. So like two years ago almost. My friend Lucy came. And we did these matching bottles and names. So I have Cass X Lucy and she has Lucy X Cass. So, so good. 
this is my second bottle because I actually repurchased them. And then tonight, I was going back and forth between what I wanted. It was like not a surprise or anything, but I got the same exact one, just with different packaging. If you find something like that works, you just gotta do it. Coffee mocha cream with Riley. And Riley is the vanilla base. So, so, so good. I think I'm just gonna extend this vlog so that tomorrow I can pack with you guys a little bit, but I'm gonna start another vlog specifically for California. I've been very much debating getting lash extensions. They just are so convenient, but then I thought about it and I keep thinking about it. It is such a confidence crusher, and let me tell you why. I had lash extensions for two years straight and I felt so great with them on, but the thing is it became a part of like my look. So without lashes, I felt so, so ugly like to be honest i know that sounds so negative but i did i felt so ugly without lash extension i had a really really hard time transitioning out of them i stopped getting them after covid because obviously i can't get my lashes done during that time but i would wear fake lashes every single day from 2020 to the end of 2022 i would say that i would only wear fake lashes i feel like just ever since i moved here i've just found my confidence again and i love my eyes now before i didn't like my eyes i love my eyes now i love like all my features and i don't know i feel like they're just a very distinctive east and west coast vibe and culture around it i just want to share that with you guys just because something i think about all the time whenever i wear lashes and i take it off i actually prefer what i look like without lashes which is crazy a few years ago i you would not catch me without these by the way if you are looking for the best lashes ever i believe these are the ardell 257s i'll link them below best wispy cat eye look it's so flattering and you can buy them in a pack of four on amazon Good morning guys it is the next day wednesday february 28th i think and this morning was just one of those mornings i did not pack a single thing last night that is top priority right when i get home i'm just gonna run through my outfit not the best but gotta do what you gotta do so i have this blazer from abercrombie they used to make petite blazers this is one of them so they don't go past my fingertips because a lot of the blazers just go right at the fingertips looks a bit long on me this is the petite version but they don't make it anymore and i'm really sad about it this top is from uniqlo it's just a scoop neck heat tech top because i'm not gonna wear anything over this it's only 50 degrees so i really don't have to layer a lot today then i have my trousers from abercrombie and then i'm gonna wear my sneakers that match this blazer so it's all gonna come together because right now that is not the look <laughs> but i promise you it's gonna come together i just decided to pull my hair up in a very messy bun because i could not be bothered to do anything today because it's raining and my hair's gonna get frizzy i'm not in the mood i know a lot of you guys want me to share more about my work and i want to as well but i need to try to figure out how to explain it in a way where i'm not giving away too much information about where i work i'm on the events team at a magazine and we are hosting a pretty big conference in california it's three days and there's about i would say we're hosting 80 people and we are taking care of their room and all their meals and we have activities and we have speakers and networking events and all these things it's on this beautiful resort and I am so excited. I've never been to this resort before. It's in San Diego and I'll be there for six days. The first few days that I'll be there is strictly just for prepping and setting up. I am going to be the main person to be helping with the setup and then other people will start to trickle in. There's going to be about 10 of us from the company that are going to be there, but all for different sorts of reasons. I'm excited. I'm going to be the first one flying in. I shipped out all of these boxes from the office. All of our supplies are being there, our prints and all of our centerpieces. We're making sure everyone knows exactly what's going on. So I'm sending out those last minute emails, answering people, making sure they know their hotel confirmation number, what time, when they're checking in, when they're checking out, um, what activity they're doing because there was like a sign up list. So I'm just confirming with those people. And simultaneously we have other events that are in the works. So that is not the only event that I'm working on right now. We have one that's in the summer. We have one that's in May. We have other ones that are happening in a more local setting in New York coming up. And then also we have one day events that are all over the States. I'm splitting that with my team. So I'll be going to half of them. That's just a little gist 
of my job and I love it so so much just seeing it all come together after doing you know a few months of and I only started in December so I'm kind of seeing more of the tail end of all these things happening I hope that gave you like a little bit of insight to what I do I know I can't say my exact location job whatever but I hope that gave you a little bit of insight so now I'm just gonna be working just for a couple of hours probably order dinner later as well and hopefully get an early night all right so this is what is going on right now it's a bit much but I have a system to it, so I'm just thinking that this is the perfect outerwear. I am no means a corporate expert here, clearly, <laughs> but I have the basics and I feel like I'm on a really good pace with packing because it usually takes me a while, but I mean, honestly, half of my clothes are considered work clothes and business casual, so it's really not difficult for me to pack for a work trip, which, thank goodness, packing for anything else is a nightmare. So I have my tops here and I also am packing for Hawaii, so that's that is what the t-shirts are for but I could also layer that with one of these jackets I have these long sleeves from Uniqlo these are the heat tech and they're so thin this is the one I'm wearing today in black but this is in gray and I have a taupe color look at how thin they are they're really breathable fabric but looks so chic I wouldn't say it keeps you warm but it's a really good base layer that you can wear all year round because of how thin it is and then i have my basic tops from aritzia these are my favorite because they're nice and thick and one thing i love about these is that they're not see-through whatsoever which makes it so much better for me to wear because i hate things that are see-through it makes me feel a little uncomfy i would say my style is pretty modest i love maxi dresses maxi skirts i love long sleeves and jackets and all that stuff so i feel like this kind of describes my style exactly and then i have this top here which i plan to wear with a blazer i feel like either that cropped blazer from abercrombie or this blazer right here i feel like that would look really cute with that with some jeans and heels i mean most of my things are from abercrombie to be honest like these three right here are abercrombie my jeans are abercrombie but that one's actually old navy but the blue ones are and they're my favorite this is h&m and then this one is lulu's and this is abercrombie i'm really excited for this dress it's very wrinkled i need to steam it before i put it in my suitcase it's so flattering and i bought it for this work trip so i'm so excited to wear it and for boots i have lulu's which which my all-time favorite footwear is from Lulu's because they're so comfortable. They actually have a little padding on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see. They have this padding here and it's squishy so your feet don't really hurt when you wear these depending on the style of course and then the boots also have all the padding i mean everything is just super simple sleek and chic that's what i go for if you guys are not using packing cubes then you need to run to amazon and get a set because they are seriously a life changer you can fit so much more in your bag this everything that i showed you guys on the couch everywhere except for that dress because it's drying because i just steamed it is in here plus more this entire cube right here has the jacket sweater and one of the dresses this one here is gonna have the dress on top but it has my two jeans a pair of slacks a pair of leggings which i'm gonna get another like the black slacks to put on top and then the dress so two more things are going in here then in here we have all of my tops plus my swimsuit and undergarments this one has two which <laughs> It's looking pretty, pretty tight in here. But there's two sets of pajamas because this one is long sleeve and pants for California. And then the one on the bottom is for Hawaii. It's short sleeve and shorts. Then in this one, I have a pair of shoes. I have two pairs of shoes, sandals and boots. This one has all of my workout clothes. So I have three sets of workout clothes in here. And here, which I'm going to put my shoes in here as well. I have two pairs of heels plus I still need to clean my sneakers and then in here I have my socks and my undergarments that's all the clothes that I'm packing then I'm gonna put that into my suitcase and it fits perfectly pretty much done packing 
The only thing this space needs is the makeup and toiletry bag. My black slacks that I washed today are still drying, just air drying. So tomorrow morning, I'll put that in my bag. Yeah, I have my carry-on, which is so heavy because I have the advanced laptop two event ipads my personal laptop and my work laptop my work one's actually in my bag but it is so heavy i also realized i didn't mention that i finished the 30 day hard challenge i feel like it really improved my motivation i just feel like i got a lot of things done because one of my goals was to have productivity hour every single night and in that one hour i was either editing youtube videos editing other content doing social media content for my clients or just brainstorming for events that I want to host in the future so there's just so many things that are actually being put into motion now also for reading my goal was to read one book my goal was reading every single night of this 30 day hard I ended up finishing three books and I'm on my fourth one and that is unheard of from me so I'm very proud of myself the only thing I will say that I struggled with the most is keeping up with my fitness goals because I absolutely did not I was supposed to have some sort of movement every single day but one second week I was sick for an entire week and then also when work just got really stressful the last thing I felt like doing was jeopardizing my sleep and waking up super early when I could sleep in an extra hour and a half so lastly I told myself I was not gonna eat out and I stuck to that pretty well until last week other than that I am very proud of myself for even attempting the 30 day hard challenge I feel like it is somewhat a success I stuck to mostly everything besides a few hiccups but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be mad at myself for that because 30 days is a long time to do something that you're not used to doing so giving myself grace on that I'm proud of myself but yeah, i just wanted to give you a little rundown because i was supposed to do that today absolutely did not because it's been so hectic but thank you so much for watching i appreciate you guys being here i mean i'm just enjoying this youtube journey so much and i'm so happy that you guys are here so thank you so much for joining me it makes me so happy to see when you guys are commenting and i just love talking to you guys so thank you thank you thank you and i cannot wait to show you the next vlog because Tomorrow morning, I'm starting a new vlog and we are going to California together. So I will see you guys in the next vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at kas.kayy and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye guys.